Okay, this is a review of the software Mini Tool Partition Wizard Pro. Let's start it. This is a partition management software and it's the professional version. There's only also a free version at partitionwizard.com and here are the uh, features which are, which are not available in the free version which is the home version. Those are related to dynamic disks but the majority of the features are available and another one merge partition that one is not available in the home version okay so let's get back to the program so this this is the interface of the program and these are hard drives or hard disks in the computer for example this one which is selected with uh, yellow that is one hard drive and the hard drive has one partition on it the second hard drive also has one partition the third hard drive has one, two, three partitions and the fourth hard drive has a partition plus an unallocated space this can be eliminated using the move and resize tool ok let's mention another thing this blue line that means that this percentage of the hard drive is uh, used by data if I click on it it's also selected down here so the capacity is 298 gigabytes and from that 245 is used that's the dark blue and 52 gigabytes are unused that is the light blue so the line these blue lines show the percentage of data stored on a hard drive okay and let's click on this disk for example use this move resize tool and here's the disk itself and if I grab the end then you can see that there's another uh, free space of 26 gigabytes created and if I drag it to the right this size decreases and it's down to zero let's click OK and that one eliminated the unallocated space from that hard drive and down here we can see that this one operation is pending so the resizing was not applied it's applied only if I click this apply button meanwhile we can play around or just click undo and the unallocated space is back okay let's select another partition for example this one and there we can use the merge tool the merge tool will uh, unite two adjacent uh, partitions so let's start uh, by selecting the disk for example is this one and that partition let's merge this one with another one click next and since this one is selected to be merged we can use either the one on the right or either the one on the left so it has to be one near the other so let's select this one and that will include this partition into this partitions folder so it will create a folder on this partition and it will include this data let's click finish it's a boot system partition and this partition will make your computer unable to boot so if you have an operating system on that partition that will destroy that uh, Windows and it might not boot so this is how this hard drive looks after the two partitions were merged the line was somewhere here and now it's totally one place okay so that was the merge tool let's undo that one okay we can delete a partition so let's select for example that one and click delete now it says unallocated so there is no partition there or if I click another one and click delete 
yes then this entire space is cleaned up there are no partitions there and we can delete that one also if you want yes and it's totally free okay let's undo that one okay we can format a hard drive that means that the drive will be filled with uh, certain uh, characters or just will be uh, the files and folders will be deleted we can use multiple options here for the file system for example NTFS allows you to store files larger than 4 gigabytes FAT32 won't allow you that okay and now you can see that it's only light blue that means that all the data was uh, deleted from that drive so take care when you use format because it will destroy all the data let's undo that okay you can use copy for example if I delete this partition delete it then I can copy for example this one onto that space so let's click copy where to create a copy I want to create it on that uh, 160 gigabyte drive which is this one down here next okay and this is how it will look so this is the 160 gigabyte drive and from that only 14 will be used because the source partition this one it's only 40 gigabytes and this one is 160 almost okay I can click finish and we can see that this partition was this one and these are unallocated because I haven't copied those partitions also okay let's click undo so that was the copy tool so this one can be used only on a clear hard drive so if you have a partition with data on it you cannot copy onto that one because it will destroy the data okay this is the label you can change the label which is OS host in this case you can add another uh, name for example let's write in there test okay now it's called test and if you look in file explorer then instead of OS host you will be seeing test okay that's a simple one let's apply it. let's apply it so only this one is pending let's apply it turn on power saving okay yes successfully applied and the files I mean the hard drive's name the label was changed so that is test now okay let's change it back we can right click on it and click label or just click up there so it was OS underscore host click OK and apply yes and it's done and if we check in file explorer OS host the name is back okay and we have the properties button that shows some size or uh, file system or other uh, information about the hard drive okay you can also have uh, different uh, options here I'm not going to enter all of these for example this one surface test that can be used for checking a hard drive for errors so I selected this hard drive and start now you can see that it's analyzing the surface of the hard drive and using this tool you can find out whether your hard drive has some bad sectors or don't and you can see where are those bad sectors situated in the beginning or at the end or wherever it will be 
Okay, that's cancelled. Wipe partition that is destroying all the data on a hard drive. So it will fill with different characters once or in more than one passes. So that's a destruction method. You can change the partition type ID. Cluster size drive letter. Let's change for example the drive letter. That's a simple one. So I selected this drive and let's click drive letter and let's make it whatever Z. Okay, so let's check in File Explorer OS host that is G right now and after clicking apply yes the drive letter would be Z and yes it is it's Z okay let's change it back so this one change drive letter and it was G okay apply yes and it's back to G the drive letter is G okay you can split partitions also let's use that one also split and from here you can adjust how much space to get for the new partition and you can't uh, get through this point because this part is full of data so let's see that one so I just split the partition was which was still here I just split it into another space okay let's undo that one extend partition that can be used in the same matter as move resize so that's the hard drive occupying the entire space on the drive undo and that's it so I just covered all the main features of the program and let's see here bootable CD this allows you to download freely a ISO file which can be used to boot your computer from and you can use the program whether you have an operating system on it or not on the computer okay and that's it that was mini tool partition wizard professional version for managing your hard drive that's it thanks for watching and bye bye